Hi guys, Frostfang here, and welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. We're going to be playing some Koga today based around his SMGs, which you've probably seen enough of by now, because this, at least in my matches, has been all over the goddamn place. Koga has gone from being a character that I'd say is pretty damn low on, like, the pick rate table, to being one of those characters that I'd say I see rather often, which is weird to see such a significant jump, and it's mainly because all the changes he's had in this patch, which I'm not going to go through in this video, because I already did that on the PTS video I made on this right when it was actually available to play. I think it was one of the first videos I made on the PTS. So if you are interested in hearing all the changes, go ahead and watch that video or just read over the patch notes because it's been out for like three weeks now. So I assume you already know what's going on. The main big one though, just in case you can't be bothered, is that is that you now have the ability to buff his mag size just by default, 10 per level onto a card. And also I think is the biggest one is the effective range and spread on his weapon has been massively increased or massively changed, I guess in a positive way would be the better way to word that. Kind of easy to mess up the words, but hopefully you know what I'm talking about, especially if you've already seen the other video, but I have actually changed my loadouts a decent amount, I think, since then. So even if you have seen the video, this will be kind of similar to the Sky one, which should have gone up yesterday. It hasn't when I'm recording this. But I'm kind of like revisiting it, giving it my thoughts after it having been available to everybody for a couple weeks, and then also uh, showing you my new updated loadouts, which have changed significantly, like I just said. I have two versions of it. They both have the exact same cards. They just shift leveling around a little bit. So Winds Embrace and Wanted for a heal on the F, ammo on the F. You can also play them based around the dash with the same two cards, but personally, I don't really like that playstyle anywhere near as much. Definitely an option though if you prefer that. And then Memento, I have level 4 or uh, 3 in the other one. Harsh Training, which gives us a little bit of extra health. And then Trigger Happy, which gives us healing when we fire our SMGs. They did fix this a little bit. It used to give you increased healing just when you held down left click. So if you're doing the reload animation, you held left click, you would get that increased healing. They seem to have fixed that in this update, or at least in the last couple updates. I didn't like test it every single patch, obviously. I think they also fixed a few other things with Koga that were a little bit clunky. Another big reason as to also why he's being picked up a lot more is he also has a hundred extra base health that may not seem like much as you guys have played a lot of paladins will probably already know 100 extra health may not seem like much but it ends up making a pretty big difference especially on a character like koga who's a flank that has a decent amount of like immunity and stuff like that yeah the other version of the letter is the exact same thing it just has the ammo pulled down on memento and wanted and has extra healing instead so wins embrace and trigger happy's four and then wanted and memento are three and the other one it's just switched around i think one of the reasons why i and a bunch of other people took to this so easily is because i kind of played koga already just based around his smg I don't really like his claw stance that much if I have the option to pick between the two I nearly always go for the SMGs every now and again I'll play him based around his claws or I'll switch maybe once or twice in like a match but it definitely doesn't happen often to the point where I've actually got comments telling me to use them because I'll make an entire Koga video and never show his claws and I'll just have the entire 30 minute Koga video of just me playing his SMG stance and I know I'm not the only person who plays him like this because I've had a bunch of other people in my comments tell me that they play him the exact same way because even though his claw stance isn't bad when you compare it to his SMGs and the ability to regen energy with them they're just a lot easier to use and i guess a little bit less punishing but at the same time now that they've buffed them out even more that gap between his claw stance and his smg stance has been made bigger than ever i'm pretty sure i can't remember a point where his smgs were actually this good although if i do remember correctly at one point his claws were way way better and way more popular than his smgs when the like dash koga was a thing if you haven't seen my videos on that i highly recommend you go and watch those because it captures a really interesting time in paladins where everybody was just running around with koga spamming his claws and his dash and it was kind of mental and now it's the same sort of thing although i'd probably say to maybe a little bit less of a level where i see people pretty damn regularly just running around playing with his smgs although at the same time i guess i should also note that i see more people playing based around his dash and his f but it's just a personal preference thing all right well it looks like for game one we've got tdm snowfall junction we've got a tyra a strix a leon and an io we're up against another leon a genos a grok another koga and a sky so kind of even teams just damages and flanks and then like a healer on both sides you know in this situation i'm probably going to be better off going for the extra heals because they don't have a tank usually that's where I go for the ammo one. They don't have too much health to go through. We'll start off with some Court and some Nimble. Burn Monster, Lifelink, Eminence, Stability, Adrenaline, Junkie, Spritz Domain, and Power Cosmium. No, I read that out in the wrong order, but Eminence is also on the Liam. What's their Koga going for? So he's going for the same thing, just based around the dashes, which is what I said like in the intro to this video. That's kind of appropriate. Get some shots on him here. I'm not really sure why he's running in so aggressively. He is gone. Okay, I'm just going to dash this way and pop the F. Kind of thinking that maybe going for the extra healing one might have been a bad idea. Yeah, we are just about around that corner, totally hoping they don't run around. Io as a healer with Koga doesn't really mesh all that well, but hopefully doesn't cause too much trouble. More shots on the sky. Managed to track it quite well that I was spamming the dash. Can I not dash in the general script? No, because he's going for power cosmium. I'm a moron. Hello, Leanne. What's popping? Just get some dinks into her. She is nearly gone. Grok is healing her because I'm pretty sure he's gone for the one that he was on his left click. Well, I'm pretty sure he's dead here as well. There's the double. Nice pop in, Leanne. How you doing? There's some more shots for you. Jesus Christ, the reduced spread and extra damage 
damage fall off or less damage fall off I mean it's ridiculous there's another double I'm not even really trying here I'm just running around having a laugh with Koga let's get rid of the Grok as well thank you very much it's so easy to play it doesn't really require any sort of like game knowledge or skill other than tap F hold left click and point in their general direction and you can easily do pretty well with it obviously it's not that simple I'm oversimplifying it but still let's get rid of him dash over here hello did you think you killed me I'm not really sure let's just get rid of the Koga as well easiest triple I think I've ever gotten I'm probably dead here though use the dash I did just consume my energy but didn't give me it that's been a bug for as long as I can remember but you know it's whatever I got a triple at least and just went for an ult don't think she hit anybody Genos is just gripping me oh this is really going to screw me over isn't it I didn't even realize that was going to be such a big issue because he's gone for the goddamn power cosmium that bodies me guess that's one pretty big counter to Koga in general is like freaking grips and stuff I don't really know what this Koga is going for I'm just going to chase him and get rid of him here how are we losing this by seven kills I don't know let me just kill this Koga again I think he's probably got a decent amount of energy he's going to pop his ult is he going to chase why why are you going to chase here I'm pretty sure I can win this fight I don't really see him being able to beat me he's got the mark on him but he's gone oh my god that's a general scram for an ult okay let's go and get revenge for his attempted kill on us yep there we go that is a Leon ulting I think either or I just made up that sound effect in my head I heard something that was like a Leon ult I'm going to dash this way for no good reason how am I alive let's get some hits on these guys I could pop the ult here this is a pretty good spot for it I'm going to go for it general just gripped me we should be able to get maybe both of these guys we got rid of Leon let's get rid of Sky as well I was just about to try and run up with all but they killed me too goddamn quick how are we losing this by 10 kills Asterix hasn't picked anything maybe that's why I don't really know get some more hits on Genos let's try and get rid of him first because he can grip me and that really isn't fun to go against he actually just got rid of the Genos okay let's just dash over here there we go we're fine honestly don't really understand how we're losing this can't believe I actually just survived there the 40% increased healing is ridiculous with IO's freaking right click it goes up to 175 we'll pop the F again and then run in I'm gripped I'm probably dead here yeah I'm gone Jesus Christ that Genos grip is so annoying let's get some resilience for it maybe that'll help just spawned in like the exact same place where I died sure let's get rid of Grok get a reload in pop the F get some hits down there on to uh, Genos damage drop off coming through clutch that sentence doesn't even make any sense but he's gone let's get some hits on her thank you Io for the heals tracking was on point Sky went for the ult didn't get me though obviously let's go run over here get some hits on her dash in I pop the ult sure I tried to get another dash off there didn't work but maybe we can kill one of these guys I'm spamming the right click but I'm totally gone my positioning there was ass just gonna run away a little bit here maybe we can get rid of the Sky and then do something okay she's gone there's the dash there's the dash pop the F get some hits onto Leanne there's the double how the hell am I alive was I just the last death god damn it. I did a pretty good job there but I don't really think I could carry hard enough there though my team was pulling me down there quite a bit and I don't usually say that but we were like 10 kills behind there for that entire match and I really was uh, putting in an effort but we got top play at least so I guess that's worth some in so it's us running on left we get rid of the Genos I turn around to get rid of the Sky who for some reason engaged on like no health we also get a couple little hits there on the Koga and that was it I think I died briefly after that sure not a great play but not terrible either I guess right well there we go there the stats for game one I really hate blaming my team so I'm not going to you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna blame matchmaking a thing I've done in so many videos but I don't really know what the hell that game was there we went 21 to 7 57 gate damage I feel like I did fine out Tyra also did surprisingly well there she doesn't have a great KDA but she's got a ton of damage 43k Strix no clue 187k no idea what that stat is the Leanne also had a pretty rough time then so did the IO on the other hand there Leanne did pretty damn good there Grok did pretty decent Sky did fine the Genos did fine and I guess the Koga did a bit under average that was overall just a really goddamn weird game we'll just jump straight into another one that was not a great way to start off a video but at least I did a good job of showing off Koga I feel like the game really expected me to hyper carry there and I reckon if I went for the ammo setup there we might have had a better time because I did run out of ammo a decent amount because I was going for the sustained one because I was expecting it to be a bit more of an even game but matchmaking really did just cobble that match together and not do a great job but yeah, let's go into game two that was pretty damn well timed we'll go ahead and grab him is he on bottom left no he's in center okay so TDM trade district we'll go ahead and use a battle pass booster and I'll go for the ammo setup this time around just in case I have to carry again although considering we have a level 238 Nando I'm going to assume that that's not going to be the case and hey that's something I've just learned today the actual mastery like emote pose thing doesn't show the first number if you have over 100 it just shows the last two you know I'd actually love to see that show 238 because that'd be really cool it's kind of weird that it caps off the first number but we've got an Andro a Fury and Nando in the sky much more standard team up against an Andro a Ceres a Genos a Grover and a Leanne I reckon overall in like 70% of setups you're probably better off going for the ammo one anyway but I went for the sustain one in the first game because why not we've got Curse Revolver Exterminate Score Preparation Weird Set of Talents there Curse Revolver Soul Collect Deep Roots Eminence and Power Cosmium wow double root this is gonna be fun let's run over left I think I hear sound effects oh yeah that's a Ceres Sky just got rooted rip okay well at least it's glad it's not me never mind I died straight afterwards what am I talking about definitely shouldn't have gotten nimble but I've gone ahead and grabbed a little bit of resilience now let's just hold fire as much as we can dash inwards there goes somebody I'm not sure I'm gonna run around and see if I can get like a flank all right hello generals you definitely weren't 
disrespecting me for some reason. Let's get rid of Grover as well. He's popping in all. Let's see if we can get rid of Ceres instead. Well done. We just about went through her health bar. There goes Andre. He was going for like an ult. Let's get rid of her as well. General's just scripting, but I don't think it matters because he can't fire at the same time. So there is a triple. Nice. I don't know if I really should have sprayed after that because that wasn't really my triple. But hey, you've got to take the wins where you can. Let's go for an ult. Oh, just tried to dash with no energy. I'm so smart. We'll go ahead and get more resilience. Try dashing and go for like an ult. I feel like this could be a really good play. See if we can pull something off here. There we go. That's two kills. Oh, it would have been if they didn't, you know, do some weird shit with heals. I'm not really sure how she survived there. I felt like I dealt tons of damage, but apparently she lived through it. Pretty good ult there. Still got us a ton of damage. There goes Grove. I hate, hate the fact that his root chains as well. It's so annoying, especially because he doesn't hit me and then like I'll still get the root because my teammate's close to me. I guess it's my fault for sticking to my teammates, but there he just hit me directly. Maybe we can still get rid of him. The heal is coming through clutch, but I'm eventually gone. We'll go ahead and finish off resilience. That should make our lives quite a bit easier. You know, honestly, I don't even understand how we've managed to keep a five point lead for most of this game, but I'm not going to complain about it. Hello, Leanne, you are gone. Ceres is healing you. I don't even have enough quarter eyes. I'm not really sure how the hell I got rid of her there, but let's get rid of the Ceres. We'll let Sky do it and then go in on the Grover and the Genos over here. Headshots for days. I'm trying to burst in, but that isn't going to happen. I can't dash, but luckily Resilience did just kind of save my ass. Unintentional rhyme. There's the energy regen. Okay, let's wiggle to the left. Let's go for the long flank. Oh, Andrew's expecting me. Okay, Fury just went for an all. Okay, Fury got rid of him. Whatever. I don't care that I died there. He died as well. It's fine. It's looking like it's going to be a win. Don't really know how. Hello, Genos. Again, you weren't expecting me for some reason. It was super obvious that I was going to come around and flank, but apparently not for him. Let's get rid of Leanne. Oh, I'm totally dead. Never mind. I could dash there for some reason. Going to pop the ult. Ceres tried to ult me out of my ult for some reason. I don't know what the hell that play was. Either way, I'm still alive on like 300 health out of combat. Let's go run over to left. We'll go ahead and finish off our nimble because screw quarter eyes. The match is nearly over. Let's get some extra speed. Hello, Ceres. Can I go three in time? No, I can't. Apparently, she's over here. Hello, Grover. You caught me off guard, but you are gone, and that is the victory. I guess we'll end up doing three TDMs then. Sure, another win. I'll take that, although we don't have another top play. I did, I think, have a triple at some point during that match, but apparently Andrew has it. So he's over here on right. These guys just got stunned by Fury Beam. He gets an assist and a kill. He dashes up. He gets rid of Andrew with a pretty nice flick. He gets rid of Genos, gets the Q and reversals Liam, but I don't think he kills him. Can you tell my voice is starting to go? It's starting to sound real weird, but let's go through the stats for game two. Fury did a great job. Sky did pretty average for that match, so I did the Nando. I feel like I did pretty good. We actually have top damage that game by about 13k. I'll take that. Our Andrew also did a really good job there. 13 for 43k. Honestly, everybody on our side there did a pretty good job. On their side, Andro did pretty standard. Ceres did pretty standard. Jones did pretty standard. So did the Leon. And so I did the Grover. I'd say everybody in that match played pretty standard, other than a couple people on our side who were going a little bit above that. Pretty good game there. We'll go ahead and queue for another TDM. When the hell was the last time I did like a triple TDM video? Honestly, don't know. I know a bunch of you guys hate me doing TDM. So in like the next couple of videos, I'll try and do a more Siege and Onslaught stuff because I don't like playing the same game mode over and over again. But at the same time, I know a bunch of people prefer it when I do like the TDM and Onslaught stuff. So I have to try and balance the two. You know, sometimes I do a good job with that. Sometimes I kind of suck at it because I don't keep track of every single match I've like recorded on the channel and stuff, especially with our videos getting scrapped. And yeah, since we're doing three TDMs in this one and it won't get scrapped unless something goes wrong with the recording, I'll try and make up for it and do more Siege and Onslaught stuff in the next couple videos. All right, well, it looks like full game three. We're going to have a TDM Dragon Arena. It wouldn't be a goddamn Frost Fangs TDM video without a goddamn Dragon Arena match. We've got a Zin, we've got a Fury and a Tiberius. Level one Fury doesn't really give me much confidence, but we'll see how it goes. Kinesa as our last pick and we're up against a Strix, a Tiberius, a Ying, a Barak, and a Maeve. Surprisingly, no Koga in these last two matches. We had one in the first one, though, I think. Guillotine on Zim. We've got Cherish, Vicious Assault. Unauthorized used Vicious Assault on both of the Tiberiuses, or Tiberius Sai. We'll go ahead and grab some Court. I guess I'll go with Nimble again. Screw it up, didn't it, in the rest of the matches. Eagle Eye, and then we're up against Architectronics and also Rogue Scam and Life Exchange. We'll run left. Tiberius just insta-died because he ran towards mid. I could crawl in there, but I don't really know if I should bother. I can kind of just stay out here and play a little bit safe. Or maybe I should. Should we run in? Oh, hello, Ying. You're uh, just down here. You've just appeared in front of me. Thank you. I'll go ahead and claim my free kill. Koga works incredibly well on this map with, like, the ability to wall run and stuff. Hello, Ying. You just spawned here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so you're not going to be able to teleport away, or apparently you are. How did you just get the ability to teleport here? You didn't deploy a decoy as far as I know. Whatever. I don't understand Ying's goddamn effort. That wasn't apparent enough from when you actually watched videos with me. Wanna? Let's go ahead and dash over here. Am I gone? Oh, there's another dash, but a little bit too slow. We'll go ahead and get more nimble, because why not? Tiberius is going for the old Hello, Barak. I don't know why you're here. Ying, I also don't understand why you keep teleporting in front of me. That's like the third time. We need to stop meeting up like this. Let's get rid of this Barak. He's dashing away and stuff, but we should be able to chase him down. Or maybe not. He nearly just went through my goddamn health. I'm going to pop the ult because he just used his F, so that's a free kill. That was so unnecessary. I did just to save my ass. Luckily, that Strix also I missed his follow-up shots. Get rid of her. Let's pop the F again. Get some more little dinks. Shooting Ying decoys is also kind of nice for energy. We can actually make this, I think, with one dash. Yeah, we can. Hello, Barak. I'm behind you now. What's popping, my G? Let's get rid of him. There we go. Headshot City. That's where we were just headed. Get some more.
more shots, get another dash through. What the hell is this play I'm making? I'm not really sure. We're up here now, though. Hello, Strix. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, I forget you hit that hard. Let's get more caught and also some illuminate. That should help us out. Are we going for another flank? I think we are. Can you even call this a flank? That might be a bit of a stretch. Haha, <laughs> let's get rid of the Ying. She is gone or not. Oh my god, my aim. I ran out of mouse pad there. Let's get rid of this Ying. That's not a Ying. I just killed Ying a second ago. Koga, you're not Koga. I'm Koga. Okay, Zin, altered by. Can we also kill that Strix, please? I finally remembered his goddamn name. Where the hell did that shot come from? Was that Tiberius? Ying, why are you plopping decoys up here? I don't understand. Why are you teleporting in front of me? Are you a Ying bot? Do Ying bots make plays like that? She's done it way too many times for it to be a person. Let's make the jump the other way. I don't think I've ever done that before. Hello, it's me again, Barag. We need to stop meeting up like this. This is the second time I've said that in one single match. Let's get rid of him. Maybe I'm out of ammo. Strix is here somewhere. That's Tiberius. I'm going to pop the orc because that's two people. I don't think that either of them can really get away. Well, he nearly did. Let's get rid of the Strix. Double. Don't really know what I was trying to do there. I ran out of people to aim at, okay? <laughs> Just kind of started firing at nothing because I ran out of targets, but okay. Hello, Strix. I have an ult again. I got behind him there and he didn't even realize. Ying, I think, is just in this corner. Yeah, she is. She's going for the ult, but I'm pretty sure we can just kill her. That is not a person. There's no way that Ying's a person. I'm pretty sure it's a bot. We'll probably explain why we're doing so well. We'll pop the ult and get rid of this Strix. Ying bot is just going to run into the ult. It's definitely not a person. He keeps using his F pretty well, though, better than I usually do. Ying bot is officially better with the F than I am. That's a fact. There we go. There's the victory. For some reason, Knessa is right where the victory screen is. I did not realize stuff actually stayed there. I learned that the other day with like a spray, but apparently if you stand there, it also it doesn't get rid of you. But, but Tiberius has top play. Killed the Tiberius who ran towards mid. He throws the sword. He gets rid of the Knessa. And then I think he also gets rid of the Furio. He got an assist. I don't really know why the hell that was top play. There were like triples in that match. Why did it choose that? I don't understand. But anyway, there we go. There are the stats for game three. Feel like we did pretty damn well. 12, 7, 8, 45. Okay, we had a very, very similar stat to uh, the Zim. Slightly more damage, but also slightly more deaths because I was playing way more aggressively than I probably should have, but it was fun, so whatever. I'd say Afira did pretty standard for that match. I Tiberius did a bit under average. I Kinesa did pretty standard as well on their side. Barak did pretty average. So did the Maeve, maybe a little bit under. The Tiberius did a bit over average, and so did the Strix, apparently and then Ying, I'm not sure if she was even actually playing. She was making too many weird plays for me to think she was a person because she kept just running at me and she would place a decoy near me and then teleport to it and then just let me kill her. I, I don't know. Tons of fun though. I've actually really enjoyed playing Koga today. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Definitely give this a go if you haven't already. I assume you already know about this. You've either played against it by now or you've played with it yourself because I think it's turned into quite a popular thing more so than I originally realized when I made the PTS video. Not that I was the only person who made a video on it though and I wasn't also the only person who was talking about it. Only mentioning it because in that video, I kind of expected it to be something that would become maybe popular if they didn't change it in the mid PTS update, which they didn't. As far as I know, they didn't even touch it. Guess we'll find out soon enough whether they're fine with Koga being in the spot he's in or if they want to pull him down a bit. I don't think he needs buffing. I don't really think anybody's trying to argue that, but thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Of course, let me know what you want to see me do next. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty.